Don't just code. Create something that matters with fullstack.net. Don't worry if you are a newbie. This roadmap will serve beginners like you and seasoned professionals looking to level up. Now I'll break down what you need to master for full stack development with .NET and C Sharp this year. Starting with .NET and C Sharp basics. .NET framework and .NET code. First up, we have got .NET framework and .NET code. The .NET framework is your go-to option for Windows application. But here is where things get exciting. .NET Core is a game changer. It's cross-platform, meaning you can build apps for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. And with .NET 5, 6, 7, 8, unifying .NET Core into a single platform. It's the future you want to be part of. Why do we care? because it means you are not limited to just one operating system and that brings flexibility and reach. .NET architecture is BCL, CLR, CTS, CLS breaking down the .NET architecture for you. Think of the base class library that is BCL as your toolkit of pre-built classes. The common language runtime that is CLR manages the execution of .NET programs making sure everything runs smoothly. The common type system that is CTS and common language specification that is CLS ensure that your code can interact seamlessly with other .NET languages. Interesting, right? Now moving on towards .NET compilation. .NET compilation involves intermediate language that is IL also known as MSIL. This is platform independent code that converted to native code by the just in time that is JIT compiler or RYUJIT. This magic happens at runtime, which makes your code efficient and adaptable. C Sharp programming language, and of course, we can't forget C Sharp. From data types and variables to loops and strings, C Sharp is where you will be writing your code. Think of it as your Swiss Army knife, versatile and essential. You will be working with operators, condition statements, arrays, and more. These basics are your foundation for everything that comes next. Now we'll talk about OOPs and advanced C Sharp one by one. This is where C Sharp really shines. You will be working with classes and objects, understanding acts, modify, and playing with inheritance. It is all about creating reusable and maintainable code. Think of OOPs as your blueprint for organizing and structuring your application. Advanced C Sharp concepts get comfortable with advanced concepts like exception handling, abstract classes, interfaces, and generics. You'll also explore Lambda expression and anonymous types. These features help you write more efficient, clean, and powerful code. Now, managing data servers is important which take us to our next point, that is RDBMS and SQL Server. When it comes to managing data, SQL Server is your best friend. From designing database to normalizing data, you will need and understand SQL Server inside out, master SQL queries, joins, views, and stored procedure. These tools let you interact with your data effectively and keep everything run smoothly. Why does this matter? Well, managing data efficiently is crucial for full stack application and SQL Server gives you the power to handle it all. But in the process, don't forget about the front end, which takes us to our next point, which is web development. HTML and CSS are your building blocks for web development. HTML gives you structure to your web pages, while CSS adds style. Bootstrap is game changer here, making it easy to design and responsive and attractive UIs. You will be using it to create navigation bar, forms, and models, ensuring your web application look as good as they function. ASP.NET Core, MVC, and Web API. On the back end, ASP.NET Core, MVC is your go-to framework. It's all about separating your application into models, views, and controllers. ASP.NET Core makes it easy to create robust applications and APIs. You'll be working with routing, model building, 
and validation to build powerful and secure web services. Now the question that arises is why ASP.NET Core? It's a cross-platform and modern perfect for creating scalable and high performance application. Next up, we have Link and EF Core. Introduction to Link. So Link is language integrated query is a powerful feature in GSHOP that lets you query collection and database using a consistent syntax. Mastering Link will make data manipulation effortless whether you are filtering sorting or joining data. Next is Entity Framework Core. Entity Framework Core is your ORM, that is Object Relational Mapper for .NET. It simplifies a database interaction by allowing you to work with data as strongly typed objects. Get comfortable with both database first and model first approach to handle your data efficiently. You must be thinking, why EF Core? Well, it streamlines data access and manipulation, saving your time and effort. For advanced web development, you need to focus on RESTful APIs and web services. Next up, we have Advanced ASP.NET Core. REST and Web API, you will learn about request, response, handling, content negotiation, parameter binding, and security. Mastering this will help you build scalable and secure APIs for your application. But why REST and Web APIs? The answer is that APIs are crucial for modern applications, especially if you're working with microservices or integrating with other systems. That's it. You now have a clear path to become a full stack.NET developer. We have covered everything from the fundamentals of .NET and C Sharp to more advanced topics like ASP.NET Core, EF Core. Time to put your new skills into practice. Start building and stay tuned for our next tutorial. Thank you for watching.